Hi there, Renee here from CNC. Welcome to part two of the proper breathe up for free diving. In this video, I'll go over how to do the final reps before a free dive. So during a breathe up, free divers will do one to three final breaths right before a dive. This is after about two or three minutes of relaxation breathing, which relaxes the body and lowers the heart rate. The relaxation breathing technique was covered in my first video, so if you haven't seen it already, be sure to check out part one of the proper breathe up for free diving. The link is in the description below. So, final breaths. The final breaths are vitally important because they oxygenate your body for a dive. Technically, these breaths are a form of hyperventilation as you're breathing in more air than what you would normally, so you have to be careful not to overdo it. If you hyperventilate too much, not only will you have the adverse effects of an increased heart rate, but you also increase your chances of blacking out. So, play it safe and stick with one to three final reps. I do three final reps before a free dive, but I know divers that do two and some that just do one. So find out what works best for you and make sure you always dive with a buddy. I found the best way to learn how to do the final breaths is to build it up. So there are four air spaces you can store air in your body, your diaphragm, your ribs, your chest, and your throat. Let's start with the diaphragm. What you want to do is breathe in while you extend your diaphragm outward. So here's a demonstration. I'll do it again. Okay, so let's do it together. Ready? Inhale to your diaphragm. Hold for two. And slowly exhale. One more time. Inhale to your diaphragm. Hold for two and slowly exhale. Okay, great. So next, the ribs. So for this, I'll first put a hand on the side of my rib cage and then inhale. As I inhale, I work on extending my rib cage outward as much as possible. So you actually want to feel your ribs moving outward. Here's a demonstration. Do it again. Okay, let's try it together. Ready? Inhale to your rib cage. Hold for two and slowly exhale. Now, one more time. Inhale the air to your ribs. Expand all the way out and hold for two. Slowly exhale. Now, if we add that to the diaphragm inhalation, it will look like this. I'll do it again. Okay, let's try it together. Ready, inhale to your diaphragm. Hold for two. Inhale to your ribs. Hold for two. And exhale. Once again, inhale to your diaphragm. Hold for two. Inhale to your rib cage. Hold for two. And slowly exhale. Great. Next, the chest. So you can store quite a bit of air in your chest area by shifting your shoulder blades back and extending your chest outward. So if I breathe into the chest, it looks like this. I'll do it again.
Okay, let's do it together. Ready, inhale to your chest, shoulders back. Hold for two, and slowly exhale. Once again, inhale the air to your chest. Hold for two, and slowly exhale. Great, so if I add the chest inhalation to the diaphragm and ribs, while pausing for two in between each section, it'll look like this. I'll do it one more time. Okay, let's try it together. Ready? Inhale to your diaphragm. Hold for two. Inhale to your ribs. Hold for two. Inhale to your chest. Hold for two. And exhale. Ready? One more time. Inhale to your diaphragm. Hold for two. Inhale to your ribs. Hold for two. Inhale to your chest. Hold for two. And exhale. Great. Okay, last section, the throat. Now the throat might be a small space, but it's still great for storing air. When you inhale to your throat, you basically want to extend your head and throat back while you sit there. So it looks like this. I'll do it again. Now if we uh, do it together, ready? Inhale to your throat. Hold for two. And exhale. Once again, inhale to your throat. Hold for two. And slowly exhale. Okay, now if we add the throat to the other three sections, with a two second hold in between each section, it will look like this. I'll do it again for you. Okay, great. So let's do it together. Ready? Inhale to your diaphragm. Hold for two. Inhale to your ribs. Hold for two. Inhale to your chest. Hold for two. Inhale to your throat. Hold for two. And slowly exhale. Once again, um, inhale to your diaphragm. Hold for two. Inhale to your ribs. Hold for two. Inhale to your chest. Hold for two. And inhale to your throat. Hold for two. Now exhale slowly. Great. Now keep practicing with the four section breathing. Then, when you're ready, you can put it together in one move. So it'll look like this. I'll do 
do it again. All right, should we try it together? Ready, inhale in. for two, and exhale. And inhale again. And exhale. Okay, great. So once you have that down, you're pretty much there. The only thing left to learn is that you want to purge your body of air during the exhale. This rids the body of stale old air and it allows space for fresh new oxygenated air. So here's what the three final breaths look like before a dive. I'm floating face down on the surface of the water, I have a snorkel in my mouth and just finished the relaxation breathing and I start my final breaths. And I go. Now let's do the three final breaths together. Remember to breathe out as much air as you can during the exhales. Ready? Inhale in. And exhale. Inhale in. Inhale in. And dive. Great job. So that's how you do the final breaths of a proper free diving breathe up. If you found this helpful, don't forget to thumbs up the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.